Do I regret coming here? Absolutely not. Will I return to this island? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, have a good day. Bye bye. All right, it is time to leave the state of Sarawak here in Malaysia. I'm going to a new place today, to a small island, which is just a short flight away. And this might be the shortest flight of my life. Let's see. Feel free to join me. Usually I'm not a big fan of short flights because they're usually made with very small airplanes. And the smaller the airplane, the more you actually feel the flight which I'm not a big fan of, you know, but let's see. I'm flying with Malaysia Airlines today. It's also my first time flying with uh, this airline. All right, Malaysia Airline seems to be busy today. Hello. Hello. I'm going to uh, Labuan. 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 Is it possible to get an exit seat? Yeah, exit seat. Okay. So the total weight of my luggage is 11.9 uh, kilo. That's all I'm traveling with. Traveling light, as a full-time traveler especially. All right, I didn't got an exit seat, but I have seat number 1A, which is the very first row. I think I never had that seat before, so I'm very excited actually. Oh. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. What are you guys doing here? We're also flying, Ken. Also flying. Is it a secret where you're flying to? All right. No. No. Where are you going? First KL and then eventually Terengganu. Terengganu. And I'm flying to an island. All right, the time from arriving at the airport to the gate was now quite exactly 30 minutes. That's, that's the nice thing about these small domestic airports. It's never long lines. It's always quick and easy to go through everything. And it smells amazing so like uh, muffins here. Oh, check out the muffins. Double chocolate muffin, tandan muffin. Oh, <laughs> it smells very good here. <laughs> but uh, I'm skipping the, the muffins today. Okay, bye bye. See you, buddy. Bye See you again. in a few weeks again. A few weeks. <laughs> Safe flight. Safe flight. Yeah, not a big emotional goodbye this time because yeah, we're gonna see each other again uh, probably in just a few weeks in a new country. Hello. Okay, let's look at number five. Thank, Thank you. you. So this is a bigger plane, probably the one flying to uh, Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. And yeah, our plane will be much smaller. And I'm very excited now to see how small this plane will be and how it's going to be to uh, sit in the very first row. And I think it's going to be one of these two very small. I guess, I'm pretty sure this is the smallest plane I've ever been on in my life. Very loud here. Good afternoon, great one, yeah? 1A is the first one, right? The first one. Okay, Small thank you. Bags okay. Under the seat in front of you. Bags are not allowed oh, this is uh, very small here. Yeah. These areas must be clear of obstructions. <laughs> this is going to be an adventure. Alright, first row, no need to search for it. You are advised to take care of your personal belongings. Hello. Uh, 1A, it's one here. Yeah. All right, although the plane is smaller than usual, the seat actually is uh, the same as, as in regular planes. The size is the same. The leg space is like this, which is a little bit limited for me, but uh, yeah, it's just a very short flight, so that shouldn't be a big problem. And other than that, well, it feels like a normal plane from the inside. All right, to my surprise, the flight actually then was very smooth and comfortable and not more shaky than in a bigger plane. I had some really nice views out of the window. We even got a little snack during the flight, which I didn't expect on such a short flight. And after a very short flight, we then arrived on the island. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, this was officially the shortest flight of my life. The flying time was quite exactly 30 minutes now and my previous record flight was 35 minutes, which was a domestic flight a few years ago in Cambodia. So my shortest flight, and I think also the smallest plane I've ever flown with. Let's explore this island. Hello, can you put down your box? Okay, thank you. Yeah, easy and convenient. I would definitely do this flight again. And in case you're wondering how much this flight cost me, it was 177 ringgit. And now let's see if my bag also made it. All right, and the bag is also here. 
so the island is very small, but um, there is grab available here. So uh, let's get a taxi, check into the hotel. Actually, we have car rentals here. Excuse me, do you have motorbike rentals as well? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have a cart or something? All right, they do have motorbike rentals here, which is great because uh, I want to explore this island with a motorbike. All right, just five ringgit to my hotel. Let's see if we can find the driver here. Oh yes, he's right here already. 355 is the plate number in the end and it's the right car. Hello. Hello. Hello, let's get some uh, very first impressions. That was very quick. That was literally three minutes now. <laughs> Hotel Labuan Point. Okay. Prima Kasi. Thank you very much. Right. Let's check in. Good afternoon. I have a reservation for Ken. All right, and I made it to my hotel room. And what's funny now is that <laughs> that's amazing, actually. Uh, the total traveling time from the hotel in Miri to this hotel was quite exactly three hours, a little bit less even. And that's including taking a plane, going to the airport, check in security, everything. Three hours traveling time. I'm very happy with that. And yeah, now let's get a motorbike and uh, see what this island has to offer. All right, I was able to uh, get a motorbike from the rental shop at the airport. They brought it to my hotel. I paid 40 ringgit for the day. Okay, we're having some problems here. Oh, all right. So yeah, it's been a while since I last rode a motorbike and this is a semi-automatic bike and Oh, that's off again. Okay, that's a great start. Okay. Yeah, this is a semi-automatic bike. I'm not really used to drive semi-automatic bikes. Um, most of the times I'm driving fully automatic bikes, but it should be all right. It's not too complicated. Just uh, switching the gears. And yeah, wow, I actually very uh, excited to explore around an island once again with my bike it's been a long time since i did this the last time so let's see what we can find all right there's a restaurant here which is not open unfortunately because it's starting to rain yeah it might not be the best day to explore an island i mean uh, the clouds are getting darker it's starting to sprinkle the wind is pretty strong, which is usually a sign of uh, rain is coming. So uh, let's hope it's not getting too worse. Um, yeah, I was hoping I saw a sign for a restaurant here. So I was hoping maybe to make a little stop here, get some snacks, some drinks. And wait for the weather to become better. But looks like it's not open. Oh, it says Ikan Baka, so grilled fish. But uh, not today. Ah, okay, well, I'm not going to return to my hotel and give up. Um, despite the rain, or the possible rain, let's make the best out of it. No matter if it rains or not. Let's see what we can uh, find here. Maybe we can have a look at the ocean. First, first look. Oh, something was cracking there. Oh, oh. Maybe these rocks are not as stable as they seem to be. <laughs> um, well, what should I say, guys? Uh, I'm sorry if you were expecting crystal clear blue water, a paradise island. I don't think that Labuan is this kind of island. But uh, let me actually check where we are. Because I heard that there are some nice beaches in the northern part of the island. And currently... Yeah, we are almost at the north. So the north is here, we are currently here. And yeah, I marked a beach here. Pohon Batu Beach. Mm. I think I just uh, keep driving. 
it's not that far to the beach. Maybe at the beach we have some shops or something else. Let's keep driving. Let's hope the bike will start. Sounds good. I really have to say I enjoy riding a bike. I should do that more often. Maybe you, if you watched my videos already last year in Thailand, you maybe remember I did a lot of motorbike trips in Thailand. And uh, I have to say I was always very happy driving a motorbike, especially on an island in Southeast Asia. That's the perfect definition for me of freedom and happiness, you know? Wow. I should do uh, these trips more often, definitely. All right, it's starting to rain really bad. Um, I don't know what's ahead of me, but I saw some bus stands, I think, over there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Please let it be just a 15-minute shower and then sunshine again. Oh. oh we have some uh, sprinkles on the lens. Let me clear that for you. Actually, it stopped raining already. That's funny. What was that? Now a two-minute rain shower? <laughs> now I'm unsure. Should I continue? Because it was definitely raining over there. Or should I wait a little bit at this lonely bus stand here? Let's see if we can get some snacks, drinks here. I think I saw a pisang goreng, fried banana. So far, I uh, think there is not that much to do here on the island. I smell something delicious. And I think I also see something delicious. I hope this is fried banana. Hello. Uh, uh, pisang goreng? Uh -uh. Ah, okay. Uh, Bada pa ringgit? Uh, satu ringgit lima. Satu ringgit lima. Uh, one ringgit for five pieces? Yeah. Okay. Please. You, you want one ringgit? Uh, one ringgit is five. Uh, okay, okay. That's enough, I think. One winged for five pieces. That's a very good price. <laughs> Can I go to the beach here? Yeah. The beach? Okay. okay. Is it still hot? Oh, yeah. Still warm. Freshly made, I think. Ah, no sauce. No sauce. No, no I don't need sauce. I just like it to eat it without sauce. <laughs> Thank you very much. Terima kasih. The first time since I started to uh, drive around that I actually see some life going on. I mean, not that much, but at least a few stalls. Some people here, some drinks. And... Oh, no, that was not my bike. <laughs> Almost went on the, on the wrong bike. I think we can just park here, can't we? I don't see a reason why not, so... Alright, some fried bananas, a beach in Malaysia. Sounds like a start of a great day, right? Well, there's a big pipeline of uh, something going into the ocean. That's usually a sign of the beach is not going to be the cleanest one. <laughs> this is uh, the, the best I can offer you at the moment when it comes to beaches here. Yeah. But that's alright. Let me sit down and try the bananas. Oh, actually, I love fried bananas. All right, 20 sen fried bananas. I got five pieces for one winged, so that means each piece is 20 sen. Mm. Oh, amazing, <laughs> it's very good. Mm. Delicious fried banana, still warm, so freshly made, wow. The funny thing about this island is that it doesn't belong to any state in Malaysia. It doesn't belong to Sarawak or Sabah, the two East Malaysian states. It's actually a federal territory. And yesterday I asked you guys on my Instagram story if any one of you has been here before, if you have any tips or recommendations. And many of you told me that this island is actually tax-free and therefore a duty-free heaven. So I guess many people come here for shopping. And based on my impression so far, I believe that uh, shopping is probably the only reason why uh, people come to this island. Check this out. I think I see an interesting place here. Not really sure what it is. But I thought it's a bar. But 
doesn't really look like a bar, but still looks interesting. Uh, yeah, you can see there's a Bob Marley picture on the boat. Interesting. And the sun, no trespassing. Violators will be shot, survivors will be shot again. What? This sign can't be real, right? But okay, I respect the signs like this. Um, yeah, first I thought it's gonna be a bar, but there's no no kitchen, no fridge, nothing. Interesting, a Bob Marley picture here. There's a bike hanging in the tree. Interesting place, but definitely like, I wouldn't really call it tables, but uh, places to sit here. Hmm. Maybe it's an abandoned bar or something like that. Just saw it when I drove by here with the bike. Hmm. Random and interesting. <laughs> All right, I came to the little town of the island, the main town, the capital, I think. And oh, I see something that uh, I want to mention in the video, I want to show you. Um, there's a mosque behind me, as you can hear. But yeah, what I wanted to uh, show and tell you is, um, I have seen a lot of mosques here. Driving around today, I saw at least six, seven mosques. And that is a big difference to uh, Sarawak, the state where I have been before, where I saw more churches than mosques. And here it seems to be different, that the majority here probably is Muslim. And yeah, that's a big difference that I noticed uh, compared to Sarawak, where I have been to before. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm from Germany. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, the people here are friendly as uh, usual in Malaysia. Very nice. All right, I found a big market here. Uh, it looks like a big market hall. You can buy uh, fruits, vegetables, snacks. Hello. Hi. You have coconuts here. Your coconut is original. This from the from the coconut. No sugar. No sugar. Ah, uh, no sugar. Very good. Very good. You want uh, plastic or? Uh, plastic Cup, is... 50 ringgit, 50 cent. Uh, plastic, 50 ringgit. Uh, let me get a plastic. More the easy. Plastic? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Uh, how many? Uh, just one. one? Uh. How much? Uh, 5 ringgit. 5 ringgit. You want straw? Uh, no need straw, no, no. Yeah, thank okay. you. Come thank again. you very much. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the coconut from? The coconut from Labuan? This year. Lo ah, local. Local coconut. Ah. Okay, the best. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got a local coconut, which I will uh, drink later in my hotel room. That's why I, uh, plastic bag is okay. I have uh, cups in my room. Oh, check this out. Little cats here hiding in the fruits. Ah, that was cute. Cat with her baby hiding in the fruits. Hello. Hello. What, what is upstairs? More shops? Ah, there's even a sign that says more shops. <laughs> yeah, more shops. Oh. <laughs> maybe not today. Not sure, maybe this is still because of COVID that uh, most shops here are closed or it's the wrong time, I don't know. It's uh, four o'clock now, so not even that late. Okay, can we run out or in? Um, yeah, that was a uh, heat already from this mall. I would guess around 80% of the stalls or shops uh, are closed. I think it works like this. You put on your card here. Right. Sila Masukan Kat Mesra. I don't know what that means. Ankak no sol untuk mulakan penigisian. What does that mean? Am I good to go now? Excuse me, can you help me? I don't, what is this? I can't read it. Ankak no sel? What does this mean? I can use? You don't understand? Terus mama chao prima I think it's gonna work now. Working. That was a two ringgit 36 sen to fill up the bike again. But yeah, it wasn't really that empty, so that's uh, okay. Okay, thank you. 
Yeah, I am sorry guys that I couldn't show you more exciting, amazing, interesting things, but uh, that's just a reality. Not every day is an amazing traveling day. Sometimes uh, you also end up having days like this, but I still enjoyed it. Do I regret coming here? Absolutely not. Will I return to this island? Mm, I don't think so. Because yeah, there's not really much uh, to see or to do here. Um, I guess it's a shopping paradise. Many of you told me it's a tax-free, duty-free uh, place here, so a few want to uh, go shopping, then this might be the right island for you. If you want to make an island trip, you know, like the typical island trip with uh, blue crystal clear water, nice beaches, snorkeling, stuff like this, then this island uh, might be not the right choice for you. And yeah, in the next video, I'm going to uh, fly to a new place in Malaysia and I also have some, uh, some news to share with you in the next episode. So make sure you're coming back for that. And if you haven't seen the previous video, the end of our Sarawak road trip, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.